up guys welcome back to my channel and before we start I'm doing this little freaking bubble bath and let me tell you guys it is so freaking relaxing just to chill before going out with friends I'm about to have a glass of wine and just kind of relax and chit chat with you guys for a little bit so grab your wine and let's get right to it when I'm relaxing I'm either chilling in a hotel room writing music or just working so hard and somehow I have to mix my crazy life with my crazy world and my crazy adventures anyway um, I'm trying my new bath bombs and they smell so amazing I do have a nice new collection that is coming out this summer. There's not a lot of like really bougie products that you can actually buy that are affordable. You have to spend like literally like $10, $15 on a freaking bath bomb and I just don't think that's fair. So we're going to try to bougie it up a bit guys and I'm going to need everyone's feedback because I do love new ideas. So let me finish taking this um, bubble bath and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. We'll get ready together and I'll show you guys my outfit and leave a comment at the bottom. Let me know what you guys think. But um, yeah, let's finish this bubble bath alone. Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. It is about 12 o'clock noon. Well, I should say good afternoon. After having breakfast, I came back to my room and just relaxed and been sleeping all day. And one of the reasons why I also like to check in at hotels is because when I sleep, I sleep so freaking amazing. When I'm at home, I'm either working from my computer, I'm either writing a new song, I'm getting distracted, I'm watching Hulu. When I check in at a hotel, all I do is just freaking sleep. And one of the things that I enjoy the most is the breakfast. So this breakfast was so freaking good. I'm so glad I didn't go out last night, but then again, I'm a little bit pissed off because I am getting to the point in my life where I'm realizing how many bad friends I have. And don't get me wrong, guys, I literally dropped everyone in my life. I used to hang out with bad people, people that were not giving me good advice, people that were not there for me, people that only called me when they wanted something, people that literally, like, had no freaking money to go out and party. And here I am paying for you because I'm fucking nice, but not anymore. So, um... I've been friends with this person for many, many years, and our friendship has been rocky, up and down, up and down. And something that bothers me so much from this person is that he is so fucking selfish. Selfish. And we made plans to hang out at about 11.30 at night. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna get myself a hotel room by the club and then I will meet you there. I was like, please be ready. Um, I will be ready by that time. Literally, the club is about five minutes away from my hotel, so I was just like, okay, you know, I'll just, you know, get ready in like five, ten minutes and then head to the club and I will be there when um, he's there. But, bitch, never call me back till like one. 15. Keep in mind that the club closes at 2 a.m. And I was just like, hey, meet me here. Bitch, um, you are literally like two hours and a half late. You know, that's not cool. And what I hate is that some people are just not, you know, ugh. What's the word that I'm looking for? They don't apologize. They don't care. They basically um, want to do things their way or the highway. And I'm getting tired of this, you know? 
this friend is always like, oh my god, you're my best friend, I care for you, and I will always be there for you, blah, 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 just bullshit. And, and to me, that's how I feel right now, because I've seen how he kisses so many fucking ass from people that aren't even there for him, and it aggravates me so much because I'm like, what the fuck? What's up with our 10 plus year friendship that we have? And I just hate people that don't take my friendship seriously. And I'm to the point where little by little, I'm just gonna keep my distance. And I feel that this year is probably the best time to do it. Because I just wanna make things clear. I'm no one's puppet. I'm no one's stupid. I'm no one that you can call when you have no one to hang out with. I'm no one that you can text when you're fucking lonely. I'm no one that you can fucking call to go out when you're fucking broke. I am so fucking done with this and it's gonna be my way now or the highway. And that's in general, guys, because I've done so much for everyone and I feel that nobody has that shit for me and I'm at this point in my life where I'm just like you know what fuck everyone that's how I feel right now I feel that the people that are really there for me are there for me and it's very transparent how they are there for me and the ones that are so-called friends are the most fucking amazing bullshitters in the whole white world. And I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that because I'm gonna keep my distance. There's another bitch that I used to hang out with all the time that is always fucking broke, has no fucking job, is dating this fucking like 80 year old. And it's okay if you're dating this 80 year old. But make sure that that 80 year old is supporting you. Make sure that that 80 year old is giving you cash. And make sure that that 80 year old is pimping you in a good way where you look bougie as fuck. And don't look like a fucking cheap hoe. Um, our friendship kind of like uh, went rocky. And I kind of like distance myself because I just don't want to hang out with people that are not bougie anymore like it sounds so fucking like stereotypical and selfish but it is the truth guys like people judge you for the type of people that you have around you and I've noticed that some people might act different some people might act too fake some people might act too friendly but in the end, people always try to act the way that they want to act to get what they want to get. And I've never been like that. I've always been so fucking honest about things. I've always been so amazingly honest that if I don't like you, I'm not going to fake it. If I don't like you, you will know I don't like you. If I have something to say, you know I'm going to say it. And... It's just so sad how some people take friendships for granted and when those friendships are not there anymore they literally beg you to be their friends again and I don't know I'm, I'm just growing out of freaking people's friendship my other best friend that I've had for like literally like 12 plus years we just stopped talking and I'd rather keep it that way and recently something tragic happened in his life that I try to be there for him but in the end I realized I'm like you know what I haven't talked to this person in over a year I don't want to open that box of freaking Pandora and have all those worms pop out I don't want to do it anymore so I left it like that I kept my distance and I'm like you know what it's just cool that way because now my life is so simple. 
if I don't like something, I say it. If I don't want to do something, I won't do it. If I don't want to hang out with you, I won't hang out with you. And that's just the way that I am. Before, I would always like try to hang out with this person, hang out with that person, try to make this person happy, try to make that people happy, try to like, you know, keep a balanced circle of friends. But after realizing how fucked up some people is, I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. But anyway guys, um, I've been in my hotel room all day, so I think I'm going to do another bubble bath and go out and do a little shopping because I have two parties to attend today. One of them is a friend's barbecue party that starts at 3. I'm so looking forward to that. I will obviously be taking an Uber, if not my assistant will drive me down there because I am going to be drinking and partying and having a good time. And later on, I have to go to my parents' art gallery because they have an art show slash um, party with a few rock bands. And I always love those shows because, you know, the place gets so packed, you meet new people. And that's what I need right now. I need to meet new friends that will literally, like, be just fucking cool and not fake as fuck. Anyway, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Um, if you guys relate to my story or what's going on in my crazy-ass life, leave your comment at the bottom. Make sure you hit thumbs up. That way I know that you are watching this video. And I will continue filming videos for you guys. But till next time, this is your friend Radimus. I love you guys so, so much. Never forget that. Until next time, bye.